hello students today i'll be teaching a topic from module 2 and that topic is known as two dimensional geometric transformation okay under this topic you have this first topic and that first topic is known as basic two dimensional geometric transformation okay so we all know that what is two dimensional two dimensional is the one which will have only two axes this is x axis and this is y axis so any that is having two axis is known as two dimensional and the object that is placed in this two dimensional is known as two dimensional object okay now two dimensional we know what is meant by transformations okay transformations means what all transformation you can perform on a 2d object okay for example if you want you can move this object from one point to another point okay moving otherwise if you want you can rotate it rotate at this angle or rotate at this angle some angle 90 degrees 80 degrees 180 degrees you can rotate or you can either increase the size of an object or you can decrease the size of an object so some transformations or some operations you are performing on an object that is known as transformations so let us see what all transformations are there so the basic transformations we can apply on a 2d object are so what are they first one is translation second is rotation third one is scaling okay so what is translation we'll see what is translation translation means this is a point okay you're just moving from this point to this point that means you are changing this coordinate position to this coordinate position that means you're moving from this position to this and this is known as translation changing one coordinate position to another coordinate position second thing is known as rotation now what is rotation you have an object here you rotate it rotate it to 90 degrees rotate it to 45 degrees or 180 degrees rotate it clockwise or rotate it is anti-clockwise anything you do with an object that is known as rotation okay third thing is scaling now what is scaling you have an object here okay this object you either increase it or you either decrease it so scaling is nothing but increasing and decreasing of an object size of an object so how many transformations are there three which are the translation rotation and scaling so i'll come once again translation means one point to another point you are changing the position rotation means you are rotating the object with some angle theta you can see scaling means you are increasing the size of an object or you are decreasing the size of an object so let us see what is translation okay so this is two dimensional translation okay so i have written the definition what is two dimensional translation moving a point from one coordinate position to another coordinate position is known as translation as we saw at the last topic okay so moving a point from one coordinate position to another coordinate position now you can see i have drawn a diagram here and this diagram is having two axes which are the x and y okay you have a position here okay given position and this i'll call it as p this point is there and this point is x comma y i want to move this point to this point that is i want to move it from this position to this position old position to new position this new position i'll call it as p dash and p dash is having x dash comma y dash okay so x and y will be given how to find out x dash y dash okay so for this point to go to this point this much of x you have to move that means this distance you have to travel from this this much of x you have to travel to go to this point and from this point to go to this point this much y you have to travel okay so what is this tx is nothing but distance across x and what is ty ty is distance across y so to move to this position you have to move this of tx and this of ty so what is tx tx is distance across x 
and what is ty ty is distance across y so this pair tx comma ty is also known as translation vector or shift vector okay so how to find x dash y dash given t p x comma y tx will be given ty will be given getting this three you have to find out p dash okay so we have to find p dash that is p dash x dash y dash where tx comma y tx and ty will be given that means the point and the distance across x the distance across y will be given so what is the formula for finding x dash y dash x dash is nothing but x plus tx that is the old given point and the distance to move across x x plus tx will give me x dash and what is y dash y dash is nothing but y plus ty so these coordinate points are given you have to find out x dash and y dash the same thing i will write it in matrix form okay so what is p dash matrix form is write it in terms of rows and columns now what is p dash p dash is nothing but x dash y dash what is p p is x y what is t t is tx and ty okay so how to convert this equation into matrix form okay so x dash y dash i'll write it x like this okay and this tx ty i'll write it here and x y so what is x dash x dash is nothing but tx plus x and what is y dash y dash is ty plus y so in general i will write this as p dash p dash is nothing but x dash y dash and this tx ty in general i'll write it as t and this x y i'll write it as p so what is p dash p dash is nothing but t plus p where p is the old coordinate position p dash is the new coordinate position and t is the vector translation vector which is tx and ty okay so hope you all have understood what is two dimensional translation okay so i'll be solving a problem on this i've done a problem on this okay so what is the problem given here consider polygon with three points okay and what is those three points a 2 5 b 7 10 c 10 22 they have given a polygon and with distance across x and y as 2 that means tx and ty both they have given it as 2 so what i have done here is i have already drawn the polygon okay put some points along x put some points along y okay so what is a a is 2 5 draw a point here what is b b is 7 10 7 10 put a point here okay what is c c is 10 2 okay then draw the polygon so you will have to find the new a new b and new c okay so what is a a is 2 comma 5 what is tx and ty tx and ty is 2 okay so here 2 is x and y is 5 so what is the formula for finding x dash x dash is equals to tx plus x okay so how much is tx tx is 2 and how much is uh, sorry tx is 2 and how much is x t is 2 okay so 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 so x dash is 4 what is the formula of to find y dash y dash is equals to ty plus y okay so what is ty ty is 2 and what is y y is 5 so 2 plus 5 is equals to 7 so y dash is 7 x dash is 4 y dash is 7 so the new coordinates of a is i'll name this as a dash the new coordinates of a is 4 comma 7 okay now you have to find out the new coordinates of b okay so what was b b was 7 comma 10 okay this is a new x this is a new y what is x dash x dash is tx plus ty tx we know it is 2 okay how much is x here it is 7 so x dash is equals to 2 plus 7 which is 9 and what is y dash y dash is equals to ty plus ty how much is ty ty is already there 2 so 2 how much is y it is 10 so 2 plus 10 is equals to 12 so what is b dash b dash is 9 comma 12 so the old coordinate position was 7 10 the new coordinate position is 9 12 now which one is left c now what is c c is 10 comma 2 
you have to find out x dash y dash okay x dash is tx plus x x dash is equals to what is tx tx is 2 what is x it is 10 10 plus 2 is equals to 12 okay and how to find out y dash y dash again the same formula ty plus y 2 plus 2 you will get 4 c dash is equals to 12 comma 4 so the old coordinates of p were a 2 comma 5 b 7 comma 10 c 10 comma 2 so the new coordinates are a dash 4 comma 7 b dash 9 comma 12 c dash 12 comma 4 okay so you have to draw the new polygon okay so the new a is 4 comma 7 4 7 new b is 9 comma 12 9 12 and the new c is 12 comma 4 12 comma 4 so the new polygon is drawn so it has just moved a bit upward okay now this polygon was bit down this has moved little bit upward that's it only the coordinate positions have changed okay so this was two dimensional translation along with an example.